Oh, hey everybody, how's everyone doing? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is fine. I hope everyone is wonderful. I hope everyone is magnificent. And I hope everyone, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, I really hope that you have big faith in our God because our God is a big God. And he wants to show us in a big way that he is always there for us. And that's what this talk is about today. This small little talk that I'll be mentioning. Faith in. Faith is having trust and believing that all is being taken care of by our God, Jehovah. When we ask in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes fear and worry can get in the way of our blessings coming through. And Jehovah being able to show his glory. Sometimes we worry so much about something that is taking place in our life that we try to meddle in. We try to do our own thing. We try to fix things on our own. After we've already prayed to God. After we've already asked Him and cried to Him and, and poured out our heart to Him and let Him know how we feel. And we tell Him, help us, help us, God. Help us, Father. Be there for us. I can't take this anymore. Please take it from me. I can't deal with this. Or give me strength, Father God. Give me strength to overcome this situation. I know you're there for me. And after prayers like that, we can just forget about what we prayed for. <laughs> Soon forget about what we prayed for and just try to do things on our own. We can try to fix things on our own. We can try and talk to someone on our own. Try and change their mind about something. Try and, you know, do something without just giving it time. You know, without trying to meditate on what we prayed about and our words that we said. And the promises that are given to us in the Bible by Jehovah. Letting us know that he's always there for us. He's always there for us and he'll, he will always see us through. He will always come through for us because he cares, the Bible says. He says, cast your burdens upon me because I care. He will not let us go without food. He will not let us be without. He will always bless us and take care of our needs. And when we go to him in prayer, he's there for us so much. He's there for us to listen to us. And we may think that we're, what we're going through in life because of what we feel, it may be really bad or it may, it may hurt. We may feel that it may be too difficult to deal with sometimes, you know, also. And we may think that our problems may stay that way because sometimes, you know, after praying or thinking about our situation, we may see that we don't have any control over what's going on. So... We may think that this difficult, terrible, ugly situation that we're caught up in, we may think that it's going to remain like that forever or for a long time or we don't know how to deal with it. But there's always a way out, folks. There's always a way out. And the answer is, first of all, to pray and do not doubt that our Father Jehovah God is there waiting for us to ask and pray to Him and come to Him. Because he loves us. He will be there for us. He says, wait and see that I am your God. He says, just wait. I am here to lift you up. I'm going to hold you by your right hand and pull you through. I'm going to see you through this. You don't have to worry about it. Do not be anxious about tomorrow. It says in the Bible. Because our Father knows what our worries are. And he's going to take care of them for us. So we cannot be disturbed by our experiences, our situations, our problems, folks. Because we will always have them. What we need to do is remember that if we can't deal with them, if we don't know what to do, we need to pray. We need to pray and we need to trust and believe in Jehovah. It's very essential. If we want to have faith in him, we must, we must demonstrate to him. Also, having faith in our Creator gives us a chance to demonstrate to Him that we love Him, that we trust Him, and that we want to please Him by trusting in Him. We please Jehovah God. We make Him so very happy when we trust Him. 
knowing, you know, we, we, we rely on him and we cast our burdens on him and we say, Jehovah, you take this, you take this from me, please. And when we leave it there with him, he loves for us to trust in him so that he may show his power and his glory and he may be magnified. His name may be magnified and blessed glory be Jehovah God. In James 2.26, it says that faith without works is dead, which to me says that we must, we must practice trusting in our God and allowing him to work out our situation when it's too hard for us to handle, when we can't do it anymore, when we don't have the answers, when we feel defeated. If we just say that we have faith in him, right? If we say, I have faith in God, I believe he's going to see me through, but we're over here trying to meddle through, you know, keep worrying, keep crying, keep bringing up the same situation. And we don't let him show his magnificence through what he's going to do, you know, about the situation that we asked him about. When we just say that we have faith in him and we don't allow him to do his thing, to do what he's best at, and that's make everything wow and wonderful and make us all go, ooh, ooh, wow, wow, wow. We all go, wow. We all go, wow, when our God steps in for us because he is big. He does big things. He doesn't know how to do, well, he knows how to do everything small and big, but he shows his magnificence, magnificence and his awesomeness by doing big things. He doesn't do small little things for us. If we if we're in a big situation, he's gonna do something wow. He's gonna make us say, Wow, and thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for listening to my prayer, for being there. So just remember, you guys, faith without works is dead works means we need to let god work it we need to let jehovah work it and do his thing what he knows how to do do his miracles show us miracles allow us to go wow and testify testify about that wonderful thing that he's pulled us out of that awful thing should i say that he pulled us out of into a more magnificent wonderful situation right Faith without works is dead, you guys. So let's remember to put in the practice, 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 and pray and just leave it there. Let God, you know, just step back. Step back and don't do anything. Let him while you let him take control of the situation that you have no control over to begin with. So let's remember that. We have no control. God has control. <laughs> so let him, let him, let him just deal with it, okay? Because he said he would. He said he wants to. He said he wants to. Who who does that? You know, it's like, wow. Thank you, Father God. Who does that? Who says, you know what? Don't worry about anything, any problem, any situation. I'm going to handle it. Well, we probably, <laughs> now that I think about it, I probably heard, you know, a few people say that to me in my lifetime. Don't worry about it. I got it all under control. I'll take care of it. Any problem, any situation, anything that you... You know, come across, don't worry about it. Just let me know about it. I'll take care of it. But do they take care of it when you want them to or when you need them to? No. Man will let you down. Sometimes people do follow through on their word. You know, there are some good people out there that stand by their word and do what they say, you know, that they will do. But I'm not talking about them. I'm giving the power. I'm giving the honor and the glory. And I'm praising Jehovah God, our Father, our Creator, because He wants to take care of those problems, those situations that we can't deal with. He wants to. He says, cast your burdens upon me, and I will take care of them. He says, I want to take care of them. So let's do that. Let's be obedient and let's show him how much we love him by trusting in him. Trusting our daddy, our Abba, our father. Saying, Father, daddy, I can't do this anymore. We can cry to him. And he'll be like, yes, daughter, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. I got this. And when us being sit, sitting back and just saying, okay, dad, thank you, thank you. And just thank you. And when he does, you know, you guys know, you guys know all the honor and glory goes to Jehovah God. All the honor and glory goes to him. Hebrews 11, 1, you guys, it says that faith is the assured expectation of what is hoped for. 
It's the evident demonstration of realities that are not seen. So faith is the demonstration of realities that are not seen. It's, it's us demonstrating and showing that we believe in this thing that doesn't even exist. It's telling God, we know that this is not yet here, Father, but we know that it will be. We trust in you that you're going to deliver because that's who you are. And we know we can rely on you, you know. But we need to be also be patient because sometimes we may pray, we may sit back, and we may wait, and we may wait, and we may wait, and we may wait. And things just don't happen right there and then when we want them to. Things are happening when they need to, not when we want them to. And if we prayed about something, trust and believe that God is not just going to do something real quick just because we want it and just to uh, just to shut us up. No, he is going to be working on it. If he needs to be worked on, he needs to, you know, make someone do something so something and something and something else can happen. So something can someone could do something for you <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? If he has to go miles and miles away to make someone do something so something else can happen and travel your way so that it can finally reach you so that your blessing can finally reach you well then it's going to take that time and trust and believe that when we do have show faith in him and when we do show and trust in him that that miracle that thing that he's going to give us oh, 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 amazing it's going to be so amazing it's going to blow you away trust and believe in god let's let's have faith let's have big faith in our big God. He wants to bless us in a big, big way. Many blessings to you all. Thank you all for listening. May Jehovah God keep you in his arms. Pray to him. He's there for us. Much love, much love. Hasta la vista. Take care. Peace and love. Take care of yourself. Take care of those you love and we will see you soon. Many blessings and may Jehovah God be with you.